So now let's see how we can create, rename, and set up scene properties inside of Character Animator. So in order to work with anything, in order to work with puppets and graphics and arrange the layers, you need to work around with scenes in Character Animator. So to create scenes, you can go over here onto the top where it says scene and click on new scene. Once you do that, the scene comes up over here as you can see. And if I were to click over here somewhere else, you can see that the scene is there. The renaming is gone. If I were to double click it, the scene opens. So timeline for the scene, everything opens up. So I can go over here and let's say I want to rename this. I can right click, rename this out and I can go over here and say something like tube to tube, just like that. And I'll click anywhere else right over here to do that out. Then what I can do is I can bring in the character. So let me just, just uh, go to the home right here and bring in this ninja right here. So as I click on it, it actually uh, gets loaded onto the existing scene right here. It's preparing and you can see that ninja scene is there, but the tutor tube scene is there as well. So what I can do in the tutor tube scene right here, ninja scene is separate as you can see, and tutor tube scene is separate. You can create multiple scenes as well. So I'm, what I'm going to do is bring in the ninja scene right here, and the, the ninja is in the tutor tube scene now. So I can go around and I can transform this around. I can scale this around so I can, uh, let's say, for example, change out the position and so forth for this particular uh, ninja by going on into the properties right here. But let us look at the scene properties. If I were to go on to the scene properties right here, right now, the frame rate is 24 frames per second. Duration is 30, width is 1920 and height is 1080. So if I were to use my trigger, you can see that the animation happens just like that. Uh, but if I were to go over here and reduce out the frame rate, let's say, for example, if I were to do something like five right here, let's see how the animation works out. You can see that it is much more stuttery right over there because we just decreased out the frame rate. So we can go over here and decrease it out even further, let's say one frame per second. So there's only one frame per second going on right here, as you can see right there. Not much of a movement is going on. So, and you can see it right here. You can see these bars right here that represents the frame. So I'm just going to go max right here. This tutorial is being recorded in 30 frames per second. So let me just go to 30 frames per second, go around and you can see that it is much more smoother. You can go around even more smoother by going on to 60 frames per second right here and it'll be much more smoother on your computer screen right here. But you may not see difference because this tutorial is in 30 frames per second itself. You can change around the duration of the overall timeline as well. So you can go around to something like 120 and you can see that the duration changes out just like that. There's the timeline on the bottom and you can go around and zoom in and zoom around as well. We're going to talk about timeline in further lessons. So let's just go around here. You can change around the resolution as well. So it's 1920 by 1080. So let's go over here into, let's say 640 by 480. And let's see what happens. So the character is still there. You can see that it is zoomed around right over here. And now the frame size is 640 by 480, just like this. I can go around here onto uh, the scene settings right here. I'm just going to go to, let's say, for example, 1280 by 720 right over here. And then it changes around accordingly right here. It just crops out the size right here when we change around the scene properties. So that is how you can create scenes, rename and set up scene properties and work with them inside of Character Animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.